today I'm going to talk to you about the Ninja Foodie Deluxe A Quart. Hi everyone, welcome back. I am Liz and today I'm going to share with you the Ninja Foodie Deluxe Pressure Cooker. I received this yesterday for my birthday as a gift from my parents and I am super excited to open it and uh, share it with all of you guys. So today we're going to unbox this and see what comes in here. I previously had a faux Instant Pot but it broke. It just like overheated or something, I don't know. The mechanism inside totally died. So it was kaput and we had to trash it in the middle of a dinner, which kind of sucks. But I loved it and I used it all the time. My favorite things to make in there was um, rice and I would always make meat because I was always um, too late to take out meat for defrosting it. So I'm really excited about the Foodie Ninja Deluxe because it does so many things. It can sear and saute, steam, slow cook, make yogurt, pressure cook, air crisp, bake, broil, and dehydrate. It can cook a seven pound chicken in under an hour, and you can go from frozen to crispy in 20 minutes. So I'm super, super excited to try it because all mine did was like the pressure cooking function. It did not have an air fryer or the tender crisp in it. Oh, and this dehydrates, and my last one didn't either, so let's see what's inside. So this says it includes a 1760 watt foodie deluxe pressure cooker with attached crisping lid, a family sized cooking pot, eight quart capacity with non-stick ceramic coating for easy cleanup, cook and crisp basket, it's a five quart capacity with non-stick ceramic coating for easy cleanup. It has a pressure lid for quickly tenderizing and cooking ingredients, and a deluxe reversible rack for steaming, broiling, and layering ingredients. And it also includes a chef-created cookbook with 45 recipes. Again, this is not a sponsored video. I was gifted this by my parents for my birthday. Okay, so on the top here, they show a bunch of accessories that you can get. A cooking pot, a tube, a glass lid, a multi-purpose baking sling, and a folding crisping rack. So we have the instruction booklet here, and they say you can go to their website for more um, recipes. So there's some instructions here for your first time pressure cooking. Try this water test to practice using the pressure. I think that's not like to make sure it works. I think that's for someone who's never used a pressure cooker before and is just worried about trying out pressure cooking. And here is the giant recipe book. It's pretty thick about 93 pages, and then we have the instruction book. Also on the top, we have a wire rack. So I just want to mention that this box is huge. It came in this huge Amazon box, and this is a pretty substantial sized machine as I'm looking inside. I don't know if you can see in there, but it's going to take up a lot of counter space, but the thing I like about it is it's everything in one, so I didn't need to have an air cooker and a instant pot at the same time or an air fryer. So we have another set of racks here. And maybe this stacks on top somehow. I guess I'd have to test it out when I take the machine out. But maybe they can work together. And then I saw that this is the um, different lid. This is the lid for the pressure cooking. This is the pressure cooking lid. And then here is the pot. Let's think in here. This thing is heavy. So this must be the air frying lid and this is attached. And then inside we have the basket. And then inside here we have the ceramic pot. So there's a spot on here for um, pressure max would be about five liters and you could fit in here 26 cups. The measurements are on the inside in here. And then the inside of here is just pretty empty. And then I think this is the air fry basket. I've never had an air fry before so I'm pretty excited to try it out. Okay so you use this with this bottom base to do an air crisp and you can just stick it in there. Okay, so this gets stacked on here like this. 
This just goes on top and then you can use this for the dehydrating portion. And I think you can probably use this if you want to do some other something. This bottom piece here, they say you can use this to broil and then you use it this way to steam. And then, so these get used without this. And they just slide right in. Oh, that just fits perfectly if you put it on in here. And then here is the instant pot lid. And then this just gets placed down here like this. And you twist it to lock it to turn it on. And this part here never comes off. So I just want to share with you some of the things you can make with each lid. So with the pressure lid, you can do some pressure cooking, you do steaming, you can do slow cook and yogurt. And then there's also the sear and saute. And then with the crisp lid, you can do the air crisp, bacon roast, broil, and dehydrate. And you can do um, two racks. So this is really cool because you can put your rice on the bottom and then cook your chicken right on the top and use the pressure cook function. And then once you release the air, you can pick a vegetable, add some sauce, and then broil it and crisp it up. So that is like really cool. There's like quinoa, you could use potatoes, couscous, any kind of um, protein you want. Then add your vegetable, then maybe a sauce, and broil it. Mm, this sounds delicious. I am so excited to try it. Okay, so we're just going to turn it on. Wow. And we'll start at the beginning. So you can start, you have sear and saute on high slow cook yogurt it gives you a time so then we can steam for 10 minutes there's pressure cooker air crisp broil bacon roast and then dehydrate so i can change the temperature by hitting the temp and then before i was on the function so that changed all these buttons and then um, here is the time we can increase the time. So if I'm making rice, I'm only gonna do it for like one minute and start it from that way. And then we have a keep warm option. So this is super exciting. Bye-bye.